hello everyone welcome back to my channel please don't forget to comment like share and subscribe to this video today we're creating this stylish open front kimono so let's begin for this project I'll be using three meters of chiffon fabric begin by folding the fabric as shown folding it in half and then half again this will give you with four layers of fabric From the non-folded edge, measure down 14 inches and mark. And do the same for the folded edge. The width of my kimono is 35 inches wide. To mark the width of the kimono, I did 35 divided by 2, which gave me 17 and a half. Mark this from the 14 inch point. Now draw a line to connect the two points together, as shown. Now mark the 17 and a half inches all the way down to the length of your kimono. My kimono is 58 inches long. Once you've done this, connect all the points together. Next, draw a small curve to connect the sleeve and the main body of the kimono. And once you're happy, you can carefully cut out the pattern you've just created. Now carefully cut through the top layer of the kimono as shown. Once you've done this, your main kimono pattern is ready. Next, cut out two strips measuring 6 inches wide and 40 inches long. For this you can use the same fabric or a different contrasting colour. Um, I've chosen to use white for this project. These will form the strips around the sleeves. Fold the strips in half as shown. And this is where the ties will be positioned. Now from the sleeve, measure 3 inches and mark. And from this point onwards, you can carefully stitch the sides of the kimono. You can repeat the same for the other side and this is how your kimono should look once stitched. Next, add a gathering stitch around the sleeve.
pull the gathers to approximately 5 inches on the fold. Now stitch the wrist ties right sides together leaving a gap in the middle. The gap will be used to turn the strips inside out. Carefully close stitch that opening. Then position the strip right sides together of the sleeve and pin. Once you're happy, stitch the two together and this is how it should look. Next, carefully hem that small 3 inch opening that you made earlier. And this is how it should look once you're done. And repeat the same process for both sides. Now you can carefully hem the open front of the kimono. And this is how it should look. Finally, hem the kimono to complete it and this will give you the final look. I love how this kimono turned out. You can wear it with a dress or trousers and a top, whatever you like. It's such a versatile piece and a must for any wardrobe. The wrist detailing gives it a really nice elegant look. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to comment, like, share and subscribe and I'll see you next time.